um welcome friends in this video we are going to show you how to add a chart in a table x or a matrix report in ssrs so in this report you can see we have a demo report in this report we are showing a pie chart in a table x column so how we are going to generate this kind of report by using reporting services so we are going to learn the same steps to build a report adding a chart inside a tablix or a matrix report so in this demo we are going to use a matrix report and a pie chart to generate a report like this so it is uh, in this data you can see we have a region country sales year and total revenue so what we are going to do here i am just going to the design mode and removing this matrix from the report and generate this report again and you can see we have a data source which provides a connection to connect with our database we have already a data set and in this data set we are using the same query to pull the data from our database okay now what i am going to do here i am going to add a matrix that is a blank matrix and in this matrix i am going to the property and assign a data set to this matrix now we have already a data set this and what i am going to do here in the row i am going to pass the sales here and for the column we are using a parent group that is our region okay now what i am going to do here i am passing the country in the column and then passing the data in the data column i am passing the total revenue okay now i need to add a uh, Add a total for rows and same for the column. Okay, now you can see. Now I am going to generate this report. Now you can see we have the data in our report right now. Uh, I it needs some little bit uh, formatting. And uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change the font size 8, bold, and the color is okay. And the same for the for this column, I'm going to change the color. Uh, first of all, change the font size and the color of this column should be gray because and the color, color of this column should be gray and I am passing assign the value for this column also now uh, I am just uh, now preview of this report again now you can see we have the data in our matrix report now but some values for the countries are blank so we need to fill these values also so to do this what we are going to do i am going to the column and in the expression window in expression window what i am going to do here i'm just passing some conditions over here Uh, now uh, we have to some um, to 
total revenue uh, total revenue is nothing means there is no value or uh, then it should be zero else we need to pass the previous value okay and click on ok button the, the same thing we are apply the report uh, the formatting so to the formatting we are going to text box property and choose number and in currency we are removing decimal places okay and uh, click on uh, checkbox use 100 1000 separator okay now I am just uh, going to the property and copy this format and apply this for format for all values okay now I am going to preview of this report again now you can see blank values is not available on the report so first of all I need to sales here that is our sales here column and I need to give some for more formatting here for this I am choose the color uh, control jet uh, 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 this should be mm, yeah and it should be color should be okay I have changed the color okay for this for column also I am going to do going to change the color also going to the property again and color should be yeah and color should be gold now preview this report again okay now you can see our report is almost ready now we have to create a chart okay first of all right click on the report and insert chart and choose a 3d pie chart remove the title remove the legends from the chart and now go to the chart data in value section fill the total revenue category group choose a country series group choose sales year okay and in total revenue value right click and show labels for the labels change the font size 7 ok and go to the format for labels change label properties number and choose currency remove decimals click on ok button now preview of this report now you can see we have matrix report as well as chart report so we need to combine both and for this what we are going to do here we are going to add a column to the matrix report uh, before merge this chart into matrix report what I need
add a tooltip for adding tooltip i am going to change properties and in tooltip section okay what i am just going to do here i am using a i am select a data set and uh, choose country and combine it with the revenue okay because revenue is in numeric it's numeric and country is is in character so we need to convert numeric value to string and our numeric value is containing the decimal decimal so we need to round it so we are using round function of ssrs okay now click on ok button and here ok button again now you can see we are going to preview this again and if i am move our mouse then you can see all the tooltip is appear on the chart now what i need to do here going to the design mode and i need to add a column in the matrix for this go to the total column and insert column inside group but right side okay so this is the column where we need to drop our pie chart so we are going to increase the height of this column also yeah and the name of this column sales by country chart okay now just resize the chart and pick it and drop it into the new column like this okay now i am going to increase the height hit again of this column and decrease the length mm. yeah so i am going to preview of this report again now uh, whenever i am going to the country on the chart you can see the tooltip yeah it is appear on the report now the size of the font is big i think so we are going to resize it as a 7 ppt okay now yeah, it is it should be 7 okay now preview of this report now you can see one more thing is uh, here you can see uh, in the report for year 2011 you can see mexico is no value means it is blank but we are showing zero value in the matrix it has value but in the chart there is no value for mexico you can see that so it is very easy to create a chart inside a matrix or taplix column by using ssrs please subscribe my channel on youtube for more videos on ssrs ssis sql server data warehouse data modeling azure database azure data warehouse and azure